Lesson 2.3a, Negative Powers of 10, Scientific Notation. We can use what we know about writing very large numbers in scientific notation to write very small numbers in scientific notation. We write the small quantity as the product of a number greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10 times a power of 10 with a negative exponent. From scientific notation to standard notation, here we have 1.234 times 10 raised to the first power. Well, that means we're going to move this decimal point one hop towards the right, and it's equal to 12 and 34 hundredths. We move the decimal point one place, so it ended up here. Here we've got the same decimal number times 10 raised to the zero power. Well, that means 1. Any number that is raised to the 0 power is equal to 1, so we're going to still have 1.234. Here we're raising 10 to the negative first power. Instead of moving to the right, we're going to move the decimal point to the left. That's the negative 1, and we're going to have to use a 0 as a placeholder over here. So we have 0 0.1234. When we raise the 10 to the negative second power, we're going to go two jumps to the left, and we're going to have to use two zeros as placeholders. We have 0 0.01234. From scientific notation to standard notation, we move the decimal point to the right for positive exponents. We move the decimal point left for negative exponents, and we use zeros as placeholders when necessary. We can move the decimal point in 0 0.000017 to the right as many places as necessary to find a number that is greater than or equal to 1. We're going to get 1 and 7 tenths, 1 1.7. We're going to move this decimal point to here. So we have a digit in the 1's place and a digit in the 10th's place. That's where the decimal point should fall for scientific notation. When we divide this number by 1.7, we get 0 0.00001. When we do long division, so remember, if we've got a decimal point here, we've got to move it to here to do long division, which means this decimal point is going to have to be moved to here. So in the quotient, it's going to go straight up. 0 0.00001 is equal to 10 raised to the negative fifth power. Now we put them together. We put this 1.7 together with this 10 raised to the negative fifth power to have scientific notation. It's good to understand that dividing by 10 moves the decimal point one hop to the left, but we can quickly write a very small number as scientific notation by moving the decimal point to fall between the ones place and the tens place counting the number of hops it took to get there, and using that number of hops as our power of 10. If we have 0 0.00043, and we want to write this in scientific notation, we move 1, 2, 3, 4 hops to put it between the 4 and the 3, so that we have a digit in the 1's place and a digit in the 10's place, and we multiply it by 10 raised to the negative 4th power. If we have 0 0.0521 and we want to write it in scientific notation, we move this decimal place to here and we get 5.21 times 10 raised to the negative second power. Each time we divide by a 10, we reduce the exponent by 1. So keep in mind that 10 is equal to 10 raised to the first power. If we have 10 raised to the 4th power and we divide it by a 10, we're going to divide it by a 10, so we have it written over 10 like a fraction. Remember, fractions are like little division problems. This is equal to 10 raised to the 4 minus 1. There's a little invisible 1 there, remember? That's equal to 10 to the 3rd power. If we divide again by 10, we're going to have 10 raised to the 3 minus 1, which is 10 raised to the 2nd power. And if we divide again, we're going to have 10 raised to the second minus first power, which is equal to 10 to the first power. 
Each time we move a decimal point to the left, we divide by 10. 0 0.17 is equal to 1.7 divided by 10. Moving left, the exponent decreases. We have 0 0.0725. If we move left one, two hops, we get 7.25, and we're going to have 10 raised to the negative second power. So remember, a negative exponent is a positive fraction. By multiplying 7.25 times 1 over 10 raised to the second power, see how it's a positive exponent because we wrote it as a fraction? What we're doing is 7.25 times 1 hundredth, multiplying by 1 hundredth, will decrease this 7.25 to 0 0.0725. See how that happened? Moving right, the exponent increases. So if we have 725, so let's say the decimal point's back here, and we write it as 7.25 times 10 raised to the second power, that is going to give us our 725. It's like saying 7.25 times 100. Multiplying by 100 will increase 7.25. So in this problem we did before, we had 0 0.000017, and we wrote it as 1.7 times 10 raised to the negative fifth power in scientific notation. By moving the decimal point and multiplying by a power of 10, we leave the value of the original number unchanged. This was the original number. Because moving the decimal increases the number from 0 0.000017 to 1.7, 1 and 7 tenths. And multiplying by a negative power of 10 decreases the number. When converting a number from scientific notation to standard notation, if the exponent is positive, move the decimal point to the right. We have 3.9 times 10 raised to the second power. We have a positive exponent. We're going to write it into standard notation by moving this two jumps, two hops to the right, and we use a zero as a placeholder. If the exponent is negative, we move the decimal point to the left and add zeros as placeholders. So 3.9 times 10 raised to the negative second power would be 0 0.039. Now I know all of this can seem very confusing, but if you copy this and put it into your notes, it's going to help you. Copy and write the 1.234 times 10 raised to the first power is equal to moving that decimal point one hop to the right, so we get 12.34. Copy this one, this one, and this one going across, and put that in your notes. And it's going to help you to realize when you have a positive exponent, we're going to hop this way to write it in standard. And when we have a negative exponent, we're going to hop this way to write it in standard. We're finished with 2.3a. We're going to move on to b, writing a small number in scientific notation. As we move forward in math, it's really important to take good notes. You might even want to get a pack of colored pencils to help you put some of the notes in color to help you remember them. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you join me for Part B. Bye.